Here's a little tip to get more out of your Copilot in 365. Because besides the basic implementation that you can do and the prompting that you can do and, and the information that you can get from your 365 environment, you can actually extend your Copilot in such a way that it also connects to external data and it can search through it and it can give you the results based on what you're searching for, what you're prompting for. And I think that's awesome because in many cases, we have a lot of data, not just in 365, but outside of our environment, which we still want to access, right? So we have different possibilities here. I'm just gonna show you just quickly, just one possibility, and that's activating a plugin within Teams. So within Teams, if you go to your Copilot chat, you actually have the option here on the bottom here, if you see it, let me click here. You can see this icon, and this is actually to activate plugins within your Copilot chat. And these plugins, they can already be existing within your Teams environment, but this really activated in Copilot chat so that Copilot can actually access the information or whatever functionality that you've created with these plugins. And what I just did is actually I installed Dropbox because I actually have a Dropbox environment that I have been keeping around for years and years and years now. And just to give you an idea, this is how it looks like. Like it contains my CV from years ago, but it's actually fun to play around with that and to test it out to see if actually Copilot can get information from my Dropbox into the results here. And as you can see, I just created a small prompt, find my CV in Dropbox, and it generated this result. And this is great. I, I love it. I mean, this is just scratching the surface of what is possible. And the only thing that you need to do is if you go into plugins, you can click on more plugins, and then you can actually select works with Copilot. So all of these plugins you can use right now within Copilot, and one of them is Dropbox. So when you install this one, it asks you to log in and whatnot. But at that time, once it's logged in, you can activate it or you can deactivate it. Once it's activated, then Copilot has access to this plugin and to all the data that is within Dropbox. So if I ask again, find my CV here and list out uh, which customers I worked for. Let's see what he does with that. Now I've been testing and playing a, a, a lot with this and it's not always consistent at this time, but again, this is just a very basic implementation that I did. I uh, activated the plugin and I asked some things and as you can see here now it's not finding anything but before that and I'll just do this one again and let's see what it comes up with this time this was working so it's it is cool it is scratching the surface it is basic to start with but you can already imagine what else you can do as you can see here now it did find documents so, and then it says the most recent one is from 2020. You can access it. Da, da, da. Now it doesn't give me the reference that it gave me here. So it's not always the same response as you get, but this response is for me, I mean, the most exciting one because then I actually can link to the documents from the reference that it gave me. And I like that. Like you see, and then you can see into the contents and it links to Dropbox right there. So really cool what you can do with this, not consistent yet. So we'll have to keep playing and, and keep uh, adding some more configuration probably to it to make sure that the results are consistent. But great way to extend your Copilot just with some plugins. And as you can see, maybe last tip is here that you can also activate the web content so that your Copilot actually accesses the web to get results. Awesome, cool. You can deactivate this as well. And if you're worried about data governance and how it is protected and so on, 
Uh, there are ways to do that, but we will cover that in another video. So get extending, get <laughs> to extend your co-pilot and yeah, play around with this. This is really cool.